Hey everybody, welcome. Uh, super excited to have you back. I've been working on a presentation for you about long-term targets in gold, and it really took me down the rabbit hole, and I'm really excited to show you what I've got going on. So, what I want to do is first thank our sponsor. If you're interested in trading FX, contact Forest Park FX to receive cashback rebates on every trade you place. Contact forestparkfx.com. Forex trading carries a significant risk of loss. Terms and conditions will apply. Let's move over here to the charts. And when thinking about long-term profit targets for a financial instrument, let's say you're trading gold. That's what we talked about yesterday. We'll continue talking about it today. Let's think about long-term targets. You want to look at a daily chart or a weekly chart. And you really want to use, for long-term targets, support and resistance levels. And today we're going to walk through how I come up with some of those levels. You'll see on my chart here, I just pulled it open today, and I had a long-term target at 1460 on gold and then one at 1900. And I want to go back and recreate the reason for those levels. And they may even change a little bit. But I'm long gold right now, and I want to be long for a while, probably a year or more. And what I'm going to do is delete all the drawing tools off my charts and move backward in time. And I want to draw support and resistance levels. And I want to walk you through how I've done it. Now, also, I'm going to get rid of all of these moving averages, the monthly pivots, everything else. And I'm just going to have price on the screen here, nothing else. And I'm already, I've already gone back to 2001. That's definitely far enough. On a daily chart, I'm back to 2001 on spot gold. And I want to start drawing support and resistance levels. And we've done this on these presentations before. But I just want to go back in time. And I want to draw a whole bunch of these levels. And I want to show you exactly how I draw my conclusions about long-term profit targets. And this is one of my favorite things in the world to do, as you know. I'm looking for areas where price action touched multiple times. If you want to follow the playlist on YouTube, there is a playlist about support and resistance. And uh, Taylor or Justin, we can link to that playlist below this video so you can watch all those videos about drawing support and resistance levels. Also yesterday, we talked about reversal tabs. And there's a video on my YouTube channel about reversal tabs with a free indicator, and we'll link to that video below as well, or in one of those little information buttons above this video. So what I want to do is keep moving forward, and I want to keep drawing support and resistance levels. Ah, here's an example of a horizontal support and resistance level that makes a lot of sense. Price jumps up and touches 429 twice. Now you might think, 429? That's a long time ago in gold. It's never going to hit that level again. I draw the level anyway. I don't care. It, 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 this may be a different financial instrument that has the potential to one day fall significantly. So I want to make sure I have that level on there. I don't have a lot of levels above the bars or candles, so I want to make sure I get those levels on the screen here as well. And I'm already in 2005. And look at the gold just shooting upward in 2005, 2006. This is when interest rates in the US were starting to drop a bit. And mortgages were just out of control. You remember this? Like subprime mortgages were just the hot thing. And um, interest rates were kind of dropping a bit or had stayed low for too long. And gold was just very happy about it. Finally, I mean, I remember back in these days, people were like, well, gold is, is going to go to 300 or whatever. But uh, it was the beginning of that giant super bull market in gold. And um, if you are really bullish a financial, financial instrument, don't forget, you can, draw lev you can draw support and resistance levels on top of bars or candles like this. And uh, that might help you with a long-term bullish profit target a little bit later on. For example, I'll draw another one of these like this, connecting these two levels. 
I'm actually going to change the levels that are connected. There we go. Look at that. That may come up later on. Well, it already does. Look at the far right. That level comes into play on the far right here across. OK, so I'm just going to keep moving forward. Remember, we're not planning trades right now. We're just we're getting everything in order so that we can see levels that it might gold might reach if it continues to move upward on the screen that we have in the present day. So we're not really interested and we don't really care about trade opportunities. We're, we're watching tons of possible historical trades pass us by and we don't really care. Oh, look at how this red level that we drew comes back over and over again. Absolutely brilliant. Gotta love it. So I might draw a red level on top of these as well. That might, that might be taking it too far. That level might never come back. <laughs> well, there it is. <laughs> I guess it does work. And you'll find on commodities, we don't get a lot of horizontal levels of support and resistance, lots of these diagonal levels, but not very many horizontal levels of support and resistance. You know, we maybe get one right here across these areas. Price hits it. You can see multiple times, and that's fine. And I don't have a lot of bearish levels of support and resistance because I'm just not bearish gold. So I don't really care as much about the bearish movement. But you can see our levels will come into play when price does drop. You know, it fell off of those highs that it made. Remember back in 2011, it reached up into the 1900 level. Everybody said it was going to go to 3000 or whatever by then. It's like, too late. Everybody, everybody gets bullish too late and bearish too late. OK, so we'll just keep moving forward. And we'll just keep drawing some levels here. We're now in 2015. How, oh, how quickly we get to the present day. And because I'm bullish, I want to make sure that I have levels drawn across the tops of my bars or candles. Make sure that's red so we can distinguish that from other levels. So you can see that that's going to contain price as it rises. It's pretty, pretty super magical. I love this one too, this trend line right here. I really like that. I'm going to color that blue just because I want to. I'm going to just, I'm going to see if that level comes back later on. Maybe it won't. <laughs> it does. That was a Janice laugh from friends. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's really annoying. Let's keep drawing some levels here. We don't want that to be blue. We want that to be gray. And we're going to see if we end up in the present day with some profit targets. Wow, these are, there we are. Wow, look at that. Okay. We've got some targets on price. Present day, here we are. We're at one of those targets right now and just jumping above it. And then the next one higher really looks like it's this area right here. Price touches this, 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 right up at like 1356. And then above that, we just have this long term, they have these super long term levels of support and resistance way above where we are. I'm reasonably certain that where these two levels converge or near that area, we're going to hit 1543. And then we've got this blue line converging with this old level of support and resistance. I'm fairly certain that where those levels combine, we're going to see price. And then there's just levels that are outrageously high, like way, way, way in the stratosphere, 3,000 and so forth. And you think those aren't possible, but they, but they definitely are. They absolutely definitely are possible. And we will probably see those levels hit over the long term. And there we have it. We know that our next profit target in mind is 1356. And for a long-term holder, 
we know that that's where we want to go. Okay, that's a basic support and resistance for long-term profit targets training. I hope you enjoyed every minute of it as much as I did doing it. And uh, we'll see you, I think we should do more of these, Justin, more of these support and resistance videos. So we'll be back tomorrow. Maybe we'll take a, maybe we'll take a really odd financial instrument tomorrow, Justin, something that most people don't look at. You know, maybe we'll just focus on one stock that most people don't look at and we'll take a look at it and we'll get all of our support and resistance levels drawn on it. And we'll talk about the trades that are setting up now, uh, the, the long-term outlook for that financial instrument. Maybe we'll look at something really popular like Tesla or Apple. That's not really odd. It's really popular, but maybe we'll do one of those things. Okay, we'll be back tomorrow. Thanks so much for being here. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you're watching. There should be a link above or below or around this video. You can click on my head and subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for being here.